everybody out there. We are going to get ready for the 360 sprint cars here at Knoxville. It's looking kind of cloudy out there. These guys are throwing the dust up around Knoxville here in Tennessee as we get ready to go action. But first, I'm going to have to ask you to please stand up and remove your hats as we do our national anthem. All right, everybody, that was our national anthem. And by the way, I am your host, Jacob Keith, here with the Dirt Dog International Racing Network. These guys got a few minutes left to practice. We are going to kick off tonight's show here at Knoxville with the 360 Sprint Cars, followed by the Dirt Street Stocks, then the Super Challenger Front Wheel Drive Class, and then we're going to top off tonight with the 358 Modifieds. So stay tuned, hang with us as we get ready for the heats for the 360 Sprint Cars here tonight at Knoxville Raceway.
Sprints. Kicking the show off here for the Dirt Dog International Crew. And we are live right now here in Knoxville. It's 66 degree weather, it looks like. With a 58-98% humidity. So it's going to be a sticky tacky track tonight here with these sprints. Partly cloudy with one mile per hour. This should be an awesome race for the 360 Sprints here at Knoxville for the Dirt Dog International Recruiting Race and brought to you by Lance Custom Decal and Chummy Motorsports. Also, if you go over to our website right there, is the link to our website, dirtdoginternational.wixsite.com slash website. So check our website out. Register up with us, and if you want to come racing, they're more than welcome. Just sign up for the meet, and we'll get you squared up. But these guys are finishing up practice right now as we head in to heat number one with the starting grid. And it looks like we're going to have Zachary Gre Craig starting on the pole here in the 27 car with Chase Wolf. Hope I'm saying that right. In the five car starting outside. Of the 27 machine. Austin Cook in the 11. Starting third. And Tyler Frey. In the 48 car. Starting fourth. In the 51 machine. Eric Gann. Starting in the sixth spot. Seventh going to be Tyler. Uh, Antonovich. Hope I'm saying that right. Uh, Chasen. Oh, Tyler starting sixth. Uh, seventh. Chasen. Uh, Critch Critchley starting seventh. Lucas Schott starting in the 67 machine in the eighth spot. And ninth going to be Michael Stenruse. And I hope I'm pronouncing this stuff right. Well, it looks like we're going to have 10 cars and 12 laps here for Knoxville as we get ready to take off for heat number one. And Knoxville Speed Raceway. Excuse me, almost said Speedway. Zachary Craig, Austin Cook, Tyler Frey, and Eric Gann all waiting. Coming out onto the track now behind the pace truck. Two laps behind the pace truck. And the green flag will be waving here. The 11 machine on the outside of the 27, the 48 right there on the back side of the 27 as well, waiting to make these pace laps as we get ready to go green flag racing here in Knoxville Raceway. Craig, Crook, looking to take the green flag here. Coming out of three and four, a little bit of contact in the back there. Austin Cook hangs on to the 27, gets a little loose, and then the 48 clips him on the inside there. Tyler Frey made the initial contact there. No cautions for the Heat. As it is only recruitment racing, there will be no caution for the Heat. and Tyler Frey battling it out here in the 15 in the 48 car. Coming out of the back stretch, I believe. Frey in the 48 machine sitting in the second spot. Four of 12 here. Eight laps left to go. Still right on the backside tail of that 15 car. We're going to come to the back. Austin Cook in that 11 car trying to find his ground there behind Michael. 
Stan Ruse here. Stan Ruse making his way up to the back side of Frey here in that 48 machine. 25 car finding his legs on the outside, working the outside to work the back side of the 48. The 48 still all over the back side of the 15. We got a three way battle here for the first, second, third. 48 trying to throw the slide job, doesn't make a stick. 15 still right there. Right on his tail now, too. Twenty-five all over the backside of the forty-eight. The forty-eight. Any mistake from Tyler Frey, Michael Stenrose might be able to jump on it and capitalize, take him over from that position here. Seven of twelve here in Knoxville Raceway. Here for the three-sixty sprint spot. Brought to you by Chummy Motorsports and Lamb's Custom Decal. Here for heat number one, the 15, the 48, the 25, all oh, tail to nose. The 48 going to the inside, tries to make the slide job stick, and he doesn't. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on, but that guy should definitely be getting an EOL. Starting in the back of the pack. That was a horrible slide job from the 48. Still trying to hang on to a Stenrose. In the front, the 25. Coming up to the back side of some more lap traffic here. Traffic of the 24 machine, the Jags car on the outside. That's chasing Gretchley. Trying not to go a lap down all over the tail side of that 25 car. The 25 getting the white flag coming out. There's one lap down or one lap left here. The checker flag waves for the 25 here on Michael Stenroos. Here for the Dirt Dog International recruitment race, heat number one. Here for the 360 sprints as we kick tonight off with an action-packed full night of racing. And now we're going to check out grid number two. Starting on the pole of heat number two, Cameron Pritchard. And on the outside of him, Mr. Robert Charette with HRH Motorsports. Cameron Pritchard coming out of Pennsylvania. That is your starting row of row number one here. The 63, Clifford Driscoll. And Jake Clemens rounding out row number two. Row number three, Ryan Carlisle. And Michelle Cherry. Why does it say Michelle Cherry? Nope, it's Dakota Brandon. Sorry. So there we go. That is the tail end of heat number two here. As we get ready to go, heat number two action racing here. Robert Shrek, Clifford D Driscoll starting on the ro a front row here. Stumbling all over my words already, ladies and gentlemen. Shrett in that 64 machine sponsored HRH Motorsports. He's got Driscoll down low, ready to take the flag, green flag here. The 63, the 64. 38, the 73, and the 20 back there. We're going to take the green flag. Five cars, 12 laps here for Knoxville Raceway. Here in the 360 sprint cars. Green, green, green. green flag is out. Robert Charette, Mr. Cliff Driscoll, excuse me, take the green flag in 63 to 64. 
are still side by side as they get ready to go into three and four. The 63 on the low side, the 64 out high. Robert Shura hanging out of the outside. Driscoll still going to hang down low. Going to try to pull the slide. Tommy, a little bit faster than Mr. Robert Shura here. Able to pull in front. Clifford Driscoll hanging out of the front side. Robert Shura sitting in the second spot. And Alan Sim Simmerl. Third spot in the 73 machine, looking to poke to the inside of the 64. Of Robert Charette all to the backside. Allen Charette, Allen had a little bit of blinkage there. The 73 still on the tail side of the 64, not trying to get into it, but coming in kind of high right behind him. 38, not too far off line, Carlisle. I hope I'm saying that right. Driscoll still out front, though, as they go side by side with the 64 of Robert Charette in the second spot. The 73 Allen still on the backside tail battling. Wants that second position. Going to poke to the inside of the 64, but the 64 is the run off as he goes to the low side, trying to gain some time on the 60, or 73 there. Gain about a second. Half a second, but the 73 still ripping that outside all over the backside tail of the 64 machine. Robert Charette still on the outside. Driscoll still leading this thing lap seven of 12 here. As we go around one more time, we will be four laps left to go. We have an action-packed night of racing here as we have the dirt street stocks coming up after the 360 sprint cars. So stay tuned for that. Any dirt street stock drivers can go ahead and jump into the lobby there. We will have it open under hosted lobbies. So come check it out. Should be four hours worth of racing here tonight as the 63 still leading off. Second spot got Allen all over the back side in this 73 car as they're pulling into three and four, coming out of three and four. Two laps left to go as they go around one more time into one and two, coming out of two now. The 64 trying to hold off the 73. The 73 up into the wall hard. A little bit of roll in there. Robert Charette able to pull away. The 64 hanging out of the second spot. White flag is out. Clifford Driscoll in the 63 machine able to hang on to this all 12 laps. So he comes around for a three out of three and four for the checkered flag waving. Clifford Driscoll, Robert Charette, Ryan Carlisle for heat number three. Awesome racing here for heat number three. And now we are gridding up for heat number four for the 360 sprints. We got Joshua McClune in the 16 starting on the pole with Nori Tibbet in the 28 starting outside. Gary Wood Bolt. Bolt. I'm gonna, I hope I'm saying that in 18. The fourth spot going to Gina. We're just going to call her Gina. In the 57, starting in the fifth spot, Brock Faw. In the sixth, Zachary Tyler, starting in the number one in the sixth spot. The seventh spot in the 17, Jordan Diedrich. Eighth, going to the number nine, John Haggart. Ninth, going to the number two, Thomas Wilson. And tenth, going to be Lori. As we round out the top 10 here for the grid action of heat number four is anybody gridding oh, I thought so we got people out here 
Looks like the 12 machine going to start on the pull. The 57 right behind him. The 1 going to start on the outside. We're going to have four cars for heat number four here. We got 12 laps. Zachary Tyler, Joshua McClune starting on the front pole. Brock Vaughn, Thomas Wilson. Four cars, 12 lap shootout. Twelve machine down low, the number one out high, the fifty-seven right behind him on his tail. Starting in the third spot with the number two to the outside. Our dirt street stocks lobby will be up at seven twenty-five here. So any Dirt Street Stocks drivers, if you're going to drive the Dirt Street Stocks, coming up right after this will be your race. So stay tuned for that. Anybody wanting to watch the Street Stocks here, but this is the 360 flag, Sprints. We're going green flag racing, the number one in the 12. The number one got the jump on that start bad here. Holy cow, some contact back there. Tyler going around, Thaw ended up making some contact. The 12, Joshua McClune pulling out to a nice lead, but Thomas will not, uh, Wilson, excuse me, not too far off of him. As these guys are battling it out. Side line trying to walk away with it as much as he can. still out front here ripping this thing Joshua McClune, Brock Thaw moving up into the second spot I just seen here as he was side by side with Thomas Wilson he was in front of him the 57 now in front of the number 2 here, 5 laps of 12 down Josh McClune able to pull away for a nice half to Try to run him down. A 57 going to the low side, trying to gain some time. He does gain some time, but loses a little bit as well. A 57 trying to go to the low side again. Trying to stick to the inside of the 12. He's there. On the back side, the 12 still trying to hang out with the 57 goes down low, almost makes its line job work with the 12 just a little bit faster with that run on the outside. Trying to make the bottom work. Almost making some contact here. Two laps left. 57 on the back side of the 12. Trying to go to the inside here. The 57. Brock Thaw. Joshua McClune battling it out here for heat number four. Oh, I can't remember. It's four or five. Seven, trying to make the slide job work. Check the flag wave in the 
12, just barely gets it. Josh McLean, Brock Vaugh uh, finishes second. Thomas Wilson finishes third. What a race up front that was here. And now, as we get ready to grid for our feature, we got Michael Stenroos starting on the pole. And Clifford Driscoll starting second with Joshua McLuhan starting third. And Tyler Frey starting fourth. In the fifth spot being Robert Charette. And Brock Thaw starting sixth. Tyler Anovich starting seventh. And eighth being Ryan Carlisle. Ninth, Thomas Wilson. Tenth being Austin Cook. Alan Smearl. Smeary, Smeary, it looks, uh, I'm, sorry I'm butchering your name. And the 73 starting 11th, 12th going to be Zachary Tyler, 24, 13th going to be the 24 of Jason Critchley. Holy cow, holy cow, the cars we have, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the 51 being Eric Gann. And the 21 being Lori. Rounding out the 14th position here. So it looks like we're only going to have 14 cars. For, I believe, 35 laps. Here in Knoxville. Michael Stenroos, Clifford Driscoll. Going to take the green flag. The 63, the 25. We're going to make this 360 race start off right here with 14 cars, 35 laps here at Knoxville Raceway. For the Dirt Dog International Recruitment Race, brought to you by Chummy Motorsports and Land Custom Detail. We're in for. Awesome race here with these 360 sprints. As we get ready to go green flag racing, the lights are off the pace truck. 25 to 63. Waiting to take the green flag as they wait for that light to come on. Green flag is out. 25 to 63. Back down to the turn number one on the low side there. The 25 hanging out of the Lead. Here's the 63. Going to try to go to the outside and try to make his way around it, but the 25 goes low. Comes up to the outside. The 63 now getting a run on the outside. Coming up to the backside of the 25 here. Michael Stenroos, Clifford Driscoll battling it out here for the first position. Josh moving up in the third spot here. Got Brock Thaw battling it out here with him. The 12 machine, the 57, looking to do battling again. The 12 still hanging on to the outside with the 57 down low. Looks like Brock Hall is going to try to hang on to the low side, trying to make the move on the 12, and he does pull the slide down, but the 12 goes down low. Joshua McLuhan trying to hang on to her. Side by side at that from corner to corner. Lap four of 35 here for the Dirt Dog International Recruitment Racing. The 57 up into the wall, the 12 still battling side by side with a little. I couldn't tell if that was a little bit of contact or not. The 57 with the slide out, the 12 giving him a little tunk. Carlisle back there right behind him, watching it all the 38 machine. Up here with Driscoll, the 63, trying to make a move around the 25. Michael Stenroos trying to hang on to the front position here. As Driscoll on the backside of that black and yellow machine. That 63 going to the inside, almost making some contact with the 25. The 25 getting a run on the outside, still able to hang on with Michael Stenroos. Battling it out, Clifford Driscoll throwing a slide job here. And that 63, we have a new leader change. As Michael Stenroos falls back in the second position. But Michael Stenroos now trying to throw a slide job here. Lap 7 at 35, side by side. Sten Stenroos still battling it out here with Michael, or with Clifford Driscoll. These guys keep throwing slide jobs after slide jobs here. Corner after corner, the 25 to 63 battling it out. Brock Fall back there, the 57 and the 16. Or the 12, excuse me, battling it out. 
Love hangs on the outside of 57. Able to get a little bit of a lead on him. Rock Dog trying to hang on to the slide tops. And City up here for the front. The 25 to 63. Charette moving up a spot here in that 64 machine. Keep it on Tyler Anovich. Get back here in the 64 machine trying to make his way up to the backside of the 38 of Ryan Carlisle there in that blue machine. HRH Motorsport sponsors that 64 machine trying to work to the backside of the 38. Ryan Carlisle trying to run away from Mr. Robert Charette. McLoon in the 12 car fell back to the fourth here. Fourth position trying to follow through with the 57. He gains a little bit of time there. Back up from the 25, still able to get back around the 63 after they had their slide job city fit. We're at lap 13 of 35. We've been clean and green thus far. Knock on some more. Hopefully we can keep on going. The 25 hanging on to the outside. Almost losing it there coming out of one two. The 63 on the whole side of the 25. Heading into three of four. The 25 trying to hang out of the run going by the flag stand. Up on the high side now. The 63 making the slide job work on the bottom. Clifford Driscoll always battling it out side by side up here as they throw slide jobs after slide jobs here at Knoxville Raceway. The 25 down low, the 63 now behind him as he, Michael Stenners was able to pull the slide job out. The 63 now going to the outside. Scraping the wall a little bit, but able to find us some room there to the backside of Stenrose. Lap 17 of 35 here for these 360 Sprint Cars feature. Brought to you by Lambs Custom Decals, Chubby Motorsports, and of course the Dirt Dog International Race Network. I have been your host thus far, Jacob Keith, and we got plenty more action to go here after this 360 Sprint Car feature race. So stay tuned here. Badman still up front. Stenroos trying to find his legs to run away from Driscoll. Driscoll now in the 63, hanging out in the second spot. Trying not to let Stenroos walk away too far. Brock now battling out here, or back here in the third spot and fourth spot. For the third spot with Joshua McLuhan on the outside, the 12 machine, finding his legs on the 57 there. Josh McLoon hanging on to the third spot, coming up around some lap traffic. It looks like Mr. Austin Cook. Austin trying to stay down low in that 11 machine. Get a little click happy here. Josh McLoon. Able to get around Austin. Cook there very successfully around the outside there. 25 still out front, the 63 not too far off. You see he's only about a second and a half. Not even a full second yet. Clifford Driscoll trying to work to the backside of Michael Stenroos and Joshua McClure pull up the third spot in the 12 car. 25 trying to still run away. As we have our first caution come out, lap 24 of 35 here. Almost 10 laps to go, but we got 11. As we try to check out to see what brought the yellow flag out. Yeah, 
I'm not sure what happened there. Nonetheless, we will get this caution underway and get them relined up for the 360 sprints recruitment race here. And get the action back underway. What a clean and green run we've had so far. 24 laps of 35. That is, I believe, a first in our recruitment race in history. So kudos to these guys, these 14 drivers here. Shrat now moved up into the fifth spot there, that 64 machine. Making his way up. Looked like he moved up into the fifth spot there. I believe he did. Right behind Brock Thaw there in the 57, the 12, the 63, the 25. We're going to take the green flag as the lights are off the truck. Michael Stenders, Clifford Driscoll. Joshua McLoon, 360 sprint car racing here for Knoxville Raceway as the green flag comes out. Michael Stenner's Clifford Driscoll, and Joshua McLoon. And we are back underway, the 25 out front with the 63 not too far off. Still working that low line, or trying to work that low line to the back side of the 25. He comes a little closer there. He's got Stenros sweating the 25. Working the bottom. Driscoll applying the pressure from the second spot. Battle up front. The street stocks lob and should be up for anybody that wants to participate for the street stocks. The street stocks lobby should be up. Third street stock action right after the 360s here. The 25 still holding the 63 out. The 63 going to the inside though. Driscoll making the slide job work. Now new leader, the 63, still hanging on, or now hanging on to the far spot here. With the 25 going down low, Michael Stenrose. Sten making the slide job work, the 25 coming down almost in front of the 63. The 63 able to make that slide job work. Driscoll, new leader, five laps left. For the 360 spritz here at Knoxville. Yeah, the 25 trying to work to his way to the 63, but the 63 he able to run away. Rock Thaw making the slide job now on the 25 here in the middle. Almost three wide here with Joshua McLean. Michael Stenner who's backing down now into the sixth position. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe he ran out of fuel. It looks like the 57 may be running out of fuel too. We might all be running out of fuel. <laughs> it's anybody's race. Ooh, and that brings out the second caution of the evening. As we have two laps left to go. Two laps left to go. I believe that was Mr. McLoon there, the 12 machine, bringing the caution out here. I believe he's running out of gas or something. The 73 got into the back of him, the 41 come up into him. Just a little bit there, and he went over the side there. I think our top guys ran out of fuel a little bit because we have a whole new top lead position change here. Thawne 57 currently the leader. 
Looks like the 41 gonna get his wave around. Thaw Allen and Charette now moving up into the third spot. The 64 machine now sitting in the third position. We got three laps left to go. Anybody's game from here on out? I guess we should have did probably 25 laps or 30 laps. So that is my bad. I will take full responsibility on that one there. These sprint cars got that track worn beautifully. The 57, the 73, the 64. Looking to take the green flag here. Brad, Brock Thaw, little Brock Thaw, Alan Smurl, Robert Charette. Waiting for the green flag to 57. Brock Thaw. Allen. Robert Shrek Green Flag is out to 57. Able to jump off to a nice early lead here. They're going to have two laps left to do this thing here. Shoot out. Two laps, shoot out. Rock Thaw, Allen, Robert Charette. The third spot, the 64. Going to try to make the bottom side work. It looks like he might be losing fuel. Might be hiccuping. Seventy-three gets the jump around the fifty-seven. New leader Allen. He takes the checker flag and Robert Charette pulling up the second position, just able to get around Brock Thaw there. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, as we have the dirt street stocks coming up next. As we get ready to jump into their lobby.
everybody. Thank you for bearing with us. We have the street stocks now getting ready to come up for their action. They have us still about uh, by 13 minutes or so, but we are going to check the weather here for Knoxville here for the dirt street stocks race. And then after this race, we will be followed up by the super challengers. It is 69 degrees out with 99% humidity, partly cloudy with cloudy, it's not cloudy, cloudy with 4 miles an hour wind. So this should be a tacky track again for the street stocks here tonight. It should be good racing all around. We had an awesome first heat, our first couple of heats and feature for the 360 sprints. Now let's do it again for the dirt street stocks. But like I said, these guys got a few more minutes of wrapping up their practice. So go ahead and stretch your legs and go get something to drink, maybe something to munch on while we get ready to do this race in action here for the dirt street stocks. Dirt Dog International Recruitment Race brought to you by Lamb's Custom Decal, Chummy Motorsports, and of course, the Dirt Dog International Racing Network.
I see you out there, Anthony, man. Happy birthday, Braxton and Mama Carf. For sure, happy birthday from the Third Dog International. Much love to your family out there. From Anthony, the Ice Cream Man, Carf, man. Happy birthday, Braxton. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we get ready for the heat lineup of heat number one for the Dirt Street Stocks, Dirt Dog International, recruitment racing for the Dirt Street Stocks. Hey, geez, I'm all over the place. Chummy Motorsports sponsors and Lamb Custom Decal also bringing you this race. We're going to have Peter Coverly starting on the pole here in the 41 machine with Hayden Hillgartner. And the 24 starting in the second spot. Steve Miller starting third with Jace Floyd starting fourth. Cameron Comier, Cormier in the fifth spot with Gage London Leiden in the sixth. The seventh spot being the 64 of Robert Shrek with the number 10 machine in the eighth spot. Eric Gann, Jordan Cross starting in the ninth spot in the 23 car. And 10th going to be Jacob Smith. The 45 of Kyle Jared pulling up the 11th. 12th going to be Carson the Reaper Cherry. And Jake Clements tailing the field there. Not too sure if actually everybody is showing up here. But nonetheless, we have race and action to bring you over here at Knoxville Raceway for the Dirt Street Stocks as we get ready to rip heat number one. 
Looks like we're going to have nine cars. Kyle Jarrett, Terrell Taylor in the field in that 45 machine. He was able to make it into the race. Robert Shred didn't know. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Nine cars, eight laps. Heat number one here for the Dirt Street Stocks. Dirt Dog International Recruitment Developmental Race. I know, Valerie, I know I was hoping to see Robert Shred also be in this heat here. The 80, though, Steve Miller, the five out high, Hayden Hillgartner. Somebody can take the green flag as we go racing at Knoxville Raceway. The 80, the 5. Pace truck coming off the track. The lights are off. They're waiting for the green light to come out here. And the green flag comes out. The 23 get a little squirrely right in front of Kyle. Jared. I'm surprised Jared didn't get into the backside from there. I probably would have. But nonetheless, the 80 machine. Steve Miller pulling out to a nice early lead here. As we got Hayden Hillgartner. Trying to battle him out here in that five machine. Too wide here is the 18 right on his tail there. The number five machine, Chase Floyd, pulling up the third spot here. Battling it out here for these dirt street stocks. Brought to you by Chummy Motorsports, Land Custom Decal, and the Dirt Dog International Racing Network. The number five pulling out to an early lead to a little bit of a lead here right in front of the 18. The Hill, Hayden Hill Gardner battling it out with Jace Floyd. Steve Miller falling right behind the number five there. A little bit of contact was made. Everybody still in the hang on ring. Get it under control here. The 18, Jace Floyd still hanging out in the second spot side by side with the five machine. The 80 out high. Steve Miller battling with the 18 of Jace Floyd here for the second spot. Now trying to put him back a spot. 18 hanging out on the low side, the 80 outside here. The nine car, Cameron Comier, Cormier, pulling up the fourth spot. Kyle Jarrett from the back coming to the front from ninth to fifth in that 45 machine. Got the 10 machine right behind him. Almost made a little bit of contact. The nine now outside the 45, a little bit of contact there with Jarrett and Comier. Jared able to hang on to a corner right on the outside of him. Getting a little sideways, the 10. Clips the 9, the 9 goes around, the 45 able to get him right around here. Some contact with Cameron Cormier. And it looked like Mr. Cherry getting into the backside of him as well. Jacob Smith now behind him. It looks like Kyle Jared here in that 525 machine. The 80 though has the 45 of Kyle Jared to worry about. The 45 works from the Ninth position all the way up to the fourth spot here. The 80. Going to try to hold him off here. The third. In the third spot. Battle up front. Hayden Hill Gardner and the 18 of Chase Floyd. Battle it out for the first spot here. Lap six of eight. Two laps to go. As they are door to door. One and a one and two. Side by side. The five making a little bump. Floyd on the outside. Hanging on with the 18. Coming out of one and two, still side by side with the number five, Hayden Hill Gardner. Chase Floyd, a little bit of contact made by Gardner. Still hanging on with the 18 on the outside, Chase Floyd. The five coming in and out, a little bit of contact made. It looks like the 18's left front tire there was a little bit inside the car there. Hopefully nobody wrecks due to internet issues. The five, trying to hang on to the outside. He didn't slide up for the 18 to get the bottom at all. The 18 made a little contact. The five, Hayden, holding on to the lead now. Checker flag waving. This, that was an awesome battle here with the Durst Street Stocks. What a race. What a race. And it looks like we are heading into heat number two as we pull up the grid. Tom uh, Rukes. I don't know how to say that. Somebody could tell me how to say that. Nicholas Shell starting in the second spot. Critchley starting in third. 
with Caleb Kessler starting in the fourth spot. Landon McKenzie starting fifth with Austin Cook in the eleven or in the sixth. The thirty-eight, Mr. Ryan Carlisle starting seventh, and then the eighth spot, Tanner Alexander. Oh, it looks like that mixed up on me. Jesse Osborne gonna be in the seventh spot, and Thomas Suttles gonna be in the eighth spot here. Rounding out the backside of the field. And that is our grid. The 58 to 22. Looking to take the green flag here. Hopefully we got some good action. Some good battling. Just like we just did. It's too bad Anthony the Ice Cream Man Carf couldn't have been here tonight to shout out the Chummy Motorsports. Landon McKenzie, Nicholas Shell. We're going to take the green flag. The lights are off the pace truck. The 22 down low, the 58 out high. Here at Knoxville, we're bringing you Dirt Street Stock Style here for the Dirt Dog International Recruitment Racing. Brought to you by Chummy Motorsports, Land Custom Decals, and of course, the Dirt Dog International Racing Network. Green flag is out. The 22, the 58 taking the lead here. Landon McKenzie, Nicholas Shell going to battle it out. Going into one and two here. There's a lot of contact that's being made, but everybody's able to hang on to it and keep it under control. The 22 down low getting passed about by a few cars. Thomas Suttles. Caleb Kessler and Michael Perkman. Michael Perman in the black and gray and blue machine. Number four behind the 58. Nicholas Shell going to try to lead these guys on here as we are left four of eight, almost half or as halfway here. Michael pulling up the second spot, trying to find his legs to the backside of the 58. Kessler, the third spot, too wide back here. Jesse Osborne, Ryan Carlisle. The eight machine. Almost getting clipped by the black number 05 there. The 38 on the outside of the 05 here. The 8, Jesse Osborne on the backside of the 51. Caleb Kessler right in front of Mr. Jesse Osborne here. As he pulls up the fourth spot. Thomas Suttles in the fifth spot here in that black number 05. With the slide job, Ryan Carlisle fits it in there. But doesn't make her stick. Back up front, Perman go to the inside of Shell. The 22 getting a little loose. These guys are going to have to try to split them. Three wide as the 22 gets a little loose in the middle. Able to hang on to it. The four now is the new leader. Oh, we got some wrecking going on back here. Jesse Osborne was involved into that. The Heat does not have any cautions. Not yet. Not until we get to the lead racing where we know we got everybody and anybody that wants to be with us there. So it's unfortunate for Mr. Jesse Osborne in the eight car as he was involved into that slide job Rooney. The four though, holding the 58 off. Nicholas Shell pulling up the second spot. The green and yellow machine, the 58, trying to come up to the back side of the black, gray, and blue machine, the four. Two laps left to go. Two laps left. The 58 getting the berm a little bit. Down low. Caleb Kessler battling with Thomas Souls. Back here side by side going into three and four. 51 makes a little contact with the 05. Souls able to go around him on the low side there. Going around Caleb Kessler. White flag out. Michael Perman, Nicholas Shell, Thomas Souls. Rounding out your top three. Brought to you by Chummy Motorsports, Lamb's Custom Decal, Dirt Dog International Racing Network. Michael Perman coming around for the last three and four here to take the checker flag as the checker flag is waving for Mr. Perman, Shell, and Suttles. Great racing here with the Dirt Street Stocks. 
action. And we got more to bring you. Here we go. Here we go as we get ready to grit up for tonight's feature for the Dirt Street Stocks. We got Hayden Hillgartner starting on the pole in that 24 car. The four, Michael Perman starting outside in the second spot. Jace Floyd pulling up the third. Fourth going to be Nicholas Shell. Fifth going to be Steve Miller. Sixth, Thomas Souls. Seventh, Kyle Jared. Eighth going to be Caleb Kessler. Ninth going to be Jacob Smith. Tenth going to be Jesse Osborne with 11th being Eric Gann. Twelfth going to be Austin Cook. A thirteenth going to be Carson the Reaper Cherry in the 226. The 38 being Ryan Carlisle. And I believe that will round out your field here tonight for the Dirt Street Stocks. Because I don't believe Mr. Shrat showed up, did he? I don't know. Did Mr. Robert Shrat showing up for the feature here tonight? And Mr. Jordan Gross showing up as well with Tom as well. So here we go. That is your grid starting here for tonight. 25 laps here in the Dirt Street Stocks at Knoxville Raceway. This should be a good one. Hayden Hillgartner, Michael Perman. I'm going to take the green flag as the lights are off the pace truck coming around one and two. Going to come around to three and four as the five and four. Look for the green flag. The fireworks are going off. The fans are going crazy, everybody. If you got somebody in the in the, the this race that you're trying to watch or whatever, shout them out in the comments. Let them know you're here. Green flag is out for the number five and the number four. Hill Gardner, Perman, Chase Floyd making a move to the inside of the four already in that 18 car. Got the 80 poking to the back side of him. The 58, Nicholas Shell got Kyle Jared on the backside of him there. Coming into one and two, they are, or three and four, they are three wide here. Jace Floyd down low, hit Hill, uh, Hill Gardner down in the middle, and Berman out high. Still three wide as they go into one and two here. The four outside, the five in the middle, the 10 down low, the uh, 18 down low, excuse me. 80 pulling up the third spot here. These guys are. Finding their ground, finding their lines. Top five so close to each other back there in the second group here. Kyle Jared gonna try to poke to the out or inside of the 58 to try to get in it. Ooh, it looked like the 58 pushed out wide there. 45 Kyle Jared absolutely nowhere around him. The, the, the 58 fell back a little bit as to, after getting into the wall. Miller pulling up the backside of the 18 of Chase Floyd in third there. He's got Thomas Suttles in the 05 right behind him. Oh, the 18 getting into the backside of the 5. Caution is out. Not sure exactly what happened there. But let's go back and try to find out. Looks like Jacob Smith bringing this caution out here. The 525 gets sandwiched back here by the 226 of the Reaper Cherry. Oh, he goes over to the wall. Walls are over. Oh, no. Jacob Smith. Very unfortunate there. Bringing out our first caution of the evening there. So much of a mix up. But it's just hard to hang on to. First caution of the evening of the Dirt Street Stocks here. Lap four of 25 as we get ready to go. Green flag racing. The lights are still on the pace truck. 
and I will be right back for one second. Hayes truck getting ready to pull back off. Steve Miller moving up into the second spot. Thomas Suttles third. Kyle Jared moving up into the fourth spot. Green flag is out. Michael Perman taking the green flag. Steve Miller in the second spot right behind him. Got Mr. Suttles moving to the outside. With Kyle Jared filing and two right behind him with the four car. Michael Perman hanging out to a nice lead here. 80 going side by side back here with Suttles and Kyle Jared right on the back side with that 45 machine. Going to poke to the inside, try to make a three wide there, but he doesn't. The 80 comes down right in front of his nose to stay fast. Kyle goes to the outside right behind the 05 as they are sandwiched up here playing bumper cars. Just little tiny, tiny little taps here. Three wide, ladies and gentlemen. The 45 down low. Kyle Jared making a slide job work. The 05 and the 80 making a little bit of connection. Steve Miller now in the inside of Kyle Jared. Kyle Jared moving up into the third spot here. He has the run on the outside. Gives the 80 a little bit of a tap. Moves to the inside lane there and gives him a little bit of a rub. The 45J, Kyle Jarrett moving up into the second spot. Now three wide for the second position here. The 80 in the middle. Steve Miller, Kyle Jarrett, Thomas Suttles down low. Still three wide going into one or two. Kyle Jarrett and that 45J trying to find that run around the outside. Eight, lap eight of 25 here for the Dirt Street Stocks. Stay tuned for after the Dirt Street Stocks. We have open Kia front wheel drive super challenges coming up next here. And we still have three wide action up here for the second position here. Michael Perman loving the three wide action behind him as he's able to run away with it. Kyle Jarrett not so much as he's trying to get the run on the outside to try to hang out of the second position with the 05. We're going to stay to the inside here of Thomas Suttles battling Kyle Jarrett here. For the second position, Kyle there with a little tap coming off that corner there, but able to keep it under control. Going to the outside, the 80 all over the back side, right behind Kyle Jared. Thomas Suttles to the outside, Jared down low, Perman still out front, side by side action. The 45 trying to get a run on the 05, trying to come up, and he does. Makes the, makes the bottom work for him. Lovely. He hangs on to the outside, the 05 giving the 45 a little bit of a tap, straightens him back out to Kyle. Jared hangs on to it, the 05 goes for a ride as he hits the inside loop there, but pulls him back out onto the track, still clean and green as the 05 able to keep her under control there. Thomas Suttles now falling back. He's got Jesse Osborne to the inside here. Nicholas Shell right in front of Jesse Osborne here in the 58, working on the backside of the 80 of Steve Miller. Five going to the outside, the eight machine down low, trying to get a run on the inside of Nicholas Shell. Jesse Osborne trying to work the bottom. The old five, Thomas Subtle Watts Revenge. The eight making the bottom work. The old five trying to make the top work, trying to get that run around Jesse Osborne as he just makes the clearance. As Jesse goes to the inside, too wide here in the one or two there. Actually, that might have been three and four. That was three and four. So coming out of four here. Oh, I was wrong again. Holy cow. 
I'm wrong. Let's go back up to the front here. Mike Perman trying to fend off the 45J of Kyle Jared. 14 laps of 25. 45J down low, trying to work the inside to the four. Herman sees the 45J closing the gap in the mirror. 15 of 25 here in Knoxville Raceway here for the Dirt Street Stocks. Brought to you by Chummy Motorsports. Lamb's Custom Decal. And of course, the Dirt Dog International Racing Network. The 45J. Kyle Jarrett. Down low of the four. Michael Perman. Trying to make that slide job work. Jared goes to the inside of the fort again. Side by side action here. Knoxville Raceway back there. We got battling with Thomas Suttles and Nicholas Shell. The Shell was on the outside. A little bit of contact there from Mr. Suttles. Might have been there. Wasn't able to see all of that very clear, but I did see the 58 get a little wobble there. Now on the backside of the 80, the 05. Suttles trying to make his way back to the backside of Mr. Kyle Jared. Working his way back up. Drop back to the seventh spot. Now back up to the fourth spot. The 58 going to try to poke to the inside of the 80, but doesn't work as the 05 come up and has the run. Kyle Jarrett still working on the inside of the 4 machine here for the lead lap 20 or 19 of 25 here to go. We got six laps left to go of the Dirt Street Stocks race, and then we will bring you the Super Challenger Kia Front Wheel Drive Racing right after the Dirt Street Stocks. And then after the uh, front, blah, 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 after the super challengers, we will have the 358 modifieds to cap off the night. 45J goes to the outside now, has the run. Michael Perman down low, still gonna battle in the four. Now 45J, Kyle, Jared, five laps left to go. Seventh position all the way to the front. Kyle Jared worked as hard as he could to get up here with four laps left to go. And we have a caution out. Jared now on to see that caution come out. Michael Perman may have a chance to get a jump on him. We are going to check out to see what brought this caution out here. Looks like Tom here. That six car. Oh, the 226 of the Reaper Cherry getting sideways after the 525 got into him. Bringing the six around, bringing the caution out. I don't know why it would say that the... Caution was on him, probably because he was the last one who made contact. But, nonetheless, that's why it was brought out. Kyle Jared. He's got four laps left to go. So he's going to be able to hang off Michael Perman. Is Michael Perman going to be able to get around him? It looks like Thomas Suttles now gaining his ground. Now trying to come up to the backside of Kyle Jared. Let's see if he remembers what happened earlier. A little bit of contact. He got loose. Had to go down low. I know he's going to give him a nice, good, clean, hard race here. Kyle Jared, Thomas Suttles, Michael Perman, your top three. As the pace truck gets ready to pull off the track. Five J is the four on the back side. The O five 
all top three nose to tail side by side the five down low the four working to the inside of Kyle Jared now Thomas Suttle getting around Michael Perman but he's inside Michael Perman they're going to battle for the second spot here Kyle Jared oh the 05 coming up into the Jared there yellow flag comes back out Oh, Jared goes around. Some contact up towards the front. With it looked like Robert. No, not Robert. Thomas Subtle. Trying to throw the slide job. Not able to make a stick. Coming up into Kyle Jared. So it wasn't clean as I thought it wanted it, but. Got a little bit of mishap here with the 05 and the 45. Jared still out front. We got Perman and Osborne now pulling up the third spot here, getting on the podium. You guys got to remember out there, all you drivers, man, this is just recruitment racing. We want to see clean racing. We don't want to see you guys beating and banging on each other. Green flag is out here. Three laps left. Jared, Michael Perman, Jesse Osborne taking a green flag. This race is brought to you by Chubby Motorsports, Lamp Custom Decal, and Dirt Dog International Racing Network. Kyle Jared hanging out of the lead, though, in that 45J. The four going to the outside, trying to throw the block on Jesse Osborne in the eight. The eight trying to go to the inside of the four car and the caution comes out again. Let's try to see what four here. Looks like the 11 of Mr. Austin Cook. Yep, Austin Cook going around right in front of that black and orange machine here. Can we rewind it? Can we, can we rewind it somehow? I guess I don't know how. Try to rewind this. Slow mo. And just gets spun around, gets a little loose, it spins right around here. So that's what brings out the caution here tonight. Austin Cook here for the third caution coming out. Four machine. I don't know what happened to Kyle Jared. Something must have happened there. Michael Perman in the lead with Jesse Osborne and Steve Miller. Maybe Jared's still up here. Nope. Perman 
Osborne in the lead here. Jesse Osborne, Steve Miller pulling up the third spot. Robert Schrapp, that 64 car pulling up the fourth position. Trying to work to the back side of the 80 machine of Steve Miller. Jesse Osborne working on the four car, getting that eight machine into the wall a little bit there. Trying not to touch the backside of the four machine, but just as fast right on the backside bumper. Side by side in the one or two white flag is waving. The four on the outside, the eight down low side by side coming out for the checkered flag waving here. As Jesse Osborne pulls up the second position. Michael Perman pulls up your win. And Steve Miller pulling up the third spot. Phew. What an intense dirt street stock race that was here. Congratulations to Mr. Michael Perman, Jesse Osborne, and Steve Miller on their Dirt Talk International Recruitment Race win here. Our podium. And now we are going to get ready for the Super Challengers as the Super Challengers lobby should be up here in the next mm, six minutes so sit back relax go ahead and stretch out do what you need to do get something to drink because we will be super challenger racing here up next when the lobby opens
All right, we will go and check out the final results one more time here. Michael Perman finishing in the first spot. Jesse Osborne start finishing second. Steve Miller finishing third. Robert Charette finishing in the fourth position. Eric Gann finishing fifth with Jacob Smith finishing sixth. Carson the Reaper Cherry finishing in the seventh spot. Caleb Kessler in the eighth position. Nicholas Sell finishing ninth. And rounding out the top ten, Ryan Carlisle finishing tenth. So that is your results for the, tonight's Dirt Street Stocks top ten. And what a race it was. There wasn't very many cautions until towards the middle to end there. And we had some heated up battling going on. So we get ready for the super challenges now. Here is the lobby should be going up right about now. And if y'all will stay tuned with us, because we'll be right back as we bring you the front wheel drive keys.
gentlemen, I'm afraid it is that time. Well, actually, I'm not afraid. It is that time to ask you to remove your hats as we ask you, as we do, our national That was our national anthem. These guys got some practice time to do for shizzle. But what we are going to do right now is pull up the race info and see what the weather is like for these super challenges here at Knoxville. Looks like uh, 40 degree, uh, 41 Humidity, partly cloudy, two mile an hour wind with 65 degrees, I'm thinking. I could be totally wrong. It's so hard. It's so little. We're in Knoxville. Here for the Super Challengers. And then up after the Super Challengers, we got the 358 modified. So stay tuned after that. And we will get the Super Challengers underway here. If we don't see anybody jump in. If we don't see anybody jump in within the next few minutes, we will probably advance the session because I believe it's set up for a half hour practice. So stay tuned and we will get the show on the road.
All right, as we get ready to grid here for the Super Challenger feature, or heat number one, I think the one and the only heat we're going to have tonight. Eric Gann starting on the pole with Austin Cook right on the outside of Eric Sprouse. Pulling up the third position with Robert Charette in fourth. Uh, Gillis Saulnier. Hope I'm saying that right. Sorry if I'm not. Let's pull up the fifth spot. Landon Hathaway starting sixth. And Cameron Andrews starting seventh. So that is the lineup for tonight's Super Challengers feature. Or heat number one here. Looks like we're only going to have three cars, huh? Four. Here we go. Pace truck's going to pull off right now. Mr. Robert Charette pulling up the fourth position here. Eric and Austin Cook. Eric Sprouse, Robert Charette. This will be awesome front wheel drive battle in action here for the Dirt Dog International recruitment racing for the Super Challengers. Brought to you by Chummy Motorsports and Lamb's Custom Decal and the Dirt Dog International Racing Network. Four cars, eight laps here in Knoxville. These front wheel drives are real fun. Once you get the hang of it, I advise people go practice how to drive these things. These things are real fun. It's all about how you roll these cars into the corner. You can totally drive these clean. I've done it. I've proved it. And I'm sure these guys will show you right here. Austin Cook, Eric Gann. Looking for the green flag as the pace truck's going to pull off right now. The 51, the 11. Green Taking flag, the green, green flag, flag here for the Super Challenger feature. Or heat, number one. And Knoxville. Oh, the 11. Austin Cook makes a little contact there with Eric Sprouse. Sprouse trying to hang on with their falling back behind Robert Charette, the 64, pulling up the third spot. Now Sprouse getting into it there with Austin Cook as Austin Cook got a little loose coming into the first corner. Charette trying to work his way to the backside of Austin Cook here in that 64 machine. Austin Cook pulling up the second spot in the green or the orange and blue 11 car. Eric Gann out front here in the 51. Charette pulling the third spot. Eric Sprouse now finding his way to the backside of the 64 here. That 123 machine. Sprouse, no stranger to these front wheel drives here. Ripping the inside line, pushing to the outside, trying to find the grip to the backside of the 64 machine. Austin Cook in the 11. Hanging on to the second spot, trying to work his way up to the backside of the 51 here up Eric Gann. Sprouse back here going to the inside of Charette, the 64 sponsored HRH Motorsports. Trying to fight off the 123 of Eric Sprouse. The 64 still leading the 123 going into one and two. Or oh, three and four, excuse me, this is three and four. Coming out of four now. 123 trying to get into the inside, but not able to. The 64 has the run on the outside here. Cook, Gann, Charette, Charette and Sprouse. Two more laps left to go. 
Two more times around Knoxville Raceway. Sprouse and Charette battling back here for the third spot. Sprouse trying to find his way around Charette in that 64 car. Both of them working up to the backside of now Austin Cook. The 11 cars. The white flag comes out for the 11 machine and the 51 as the 51 now approaching onto the backside of the back stretch into three and four. Getting ready to come out of four, taking the checkered flag here as the checkered flag starts waving. Eric Gann taking heat number one. Austin Cook pulling the second spot. Robert Schrett in third and Eric Sprouse taking fourth. Awesome front wheel drive racing here. Besides the, the beginning of that one, Mr. Austin Cook got a little loose there, but hey, what can you do? Again, the grid being Eric Gann, Austin Cook, Robert Charette, Eric Sprouse for this feature. I believe these guys will have 20 laps around Knoxville. As we get ready to go super challengers racing. Here, brought to you by Chummy Motorsports, Lamb Custom Decals, and the Dirt Dog International Racing Network. Pace truck is off. The fireworks are going nuts. They come around onto the back stretch. Sprouse will be able to get a decent run this time here for the feature. Will he be able to work around Robert Charette from HRH Motorsports in a 64 machine? Austin Cook, Eric Gann. Looking to take the green flag as they are lined up nice and tight in tight formation one more time around for the Super Challengers feature here. Four cars, 20 laps. We're doing the Super Challenger style here in Knoxville Raceway. Stay tuned after this. We have the 358 Modifieds. After the Super Challengers, we have the 358 Modifieds. And we are green. Austin Cook, Eric in. Too wide going into one and two here. Held on to it. Austin Cook on the outside of Eric Gann. Still battling door to door. A little bit of contact there. They able to hold it though. Eric Gann still moving into the second spot. Eric Sprouse moving up into the third. These guys are going to look to battle it out side by side. Sprouse giving the backside room there. Looks like he checked up for the 51. Didn't want to get into the get into him there. Looked like the 64. Robert Shred doing the same thing for Sprouse there in the 123. In the line. Here they go. And where they stop, nobody will know. Coming into one and two. Austin Cook leading this thing in that orange and blue flame job machine. 64 of Robert Shred tail at the end of the field there. Right behind Eric Sprouse. And then Eric Gann pulling up second. Battling going on everywhere. Tail to nose. Sprouse trying to work on Gann for the second spot. Gann is moving. Trying to come to the backside of Cook. Gann getting the run on the bottom, giving Cook a little bit of a shove. Tell him, let's go. I'm here. Sprouse still right there on the backside of Gann in that 51 and that 123 machine. Bottom, these guys are ripping.
Corbin in the Super Challengers. Can all over the backside of Cook. Sprouse looking to go to the outside and try to get the run. Come down, gets it again just a little bit there. Trying to take him over for the second spot. Battling door to door. Way out wide. The 123 pushes way up. Eric Sprouse falling back into the third spot. Eric Gann hanging on to the second position still on the backside of Austin Cook. Six laps of 20 down here. We have 14, 13 left to go as they come by the flag. Dan still looking to make his way up to the back side of Cook. Doing a good job holding off the number 11 car. On the backside tail there though, the 51 machine. Look who's coming back, the 123. Eric Sprouse. Side-by-side -side action. The 51 again going to the outside of Mr. Austin Cook. And gets the run and takes him over for the B new lead change. Eric again is now your leader here. Lap 8 of 20. 12 laps left to go. For the Super Challengers here in Knoxville. Lamb's Custom Decals. Brought to you by Lamb's Custom Decals and Chummy Motorsports. We have been clean and green. We are almost halfway. We are halfway now. Eric Gann looking to lead these laps off. Sprouse now on the backside of Austin Cook here in that 11 car. The 123 getting the run, trying to go to the outside and see if he can get it, but he doesn't. 11 able to hang on to it from the bottom. The 11 looking like he's having a hard time trying to hang on to the bottom and keep her nice and fast, though. He's just trying to keep her nice and steady. Is the 123 going to try to work his way around him? Working on the back side of the 11. Going to try to go to the outside again. Come down a little bit. Still on the tail side there. Can sniff them exhaust fumes coming out of that 11 machine here. Eric Sprouse in the 123. Coming around lap traffic of Robert Shrett there in the 64. Shrett coming into the pits. These guys still going to keep her clean and green. Lap 14 of 26. More laps left to go. Can Eric Gann hold Austin Cook and Eric Sprouse off for, these more, for six more laps? That 51 car. Doing a good job of this so far. He's had a heck of a time working his way around Austin Cook. But Cook trying to find his way now back up to the backside. He's pulling away a little bit from Eric Sprouse. Super challenger from the drive action. Up next, coming up with three for being modified to close off the night here for the Dirt Dog International Racing Network. I am Jacob Keith. This is the Super Challenger feature here. Four laps left to go. Eric Gann, Austin Cook, Eric Sprouse, your top three. Robert Charette had enough of these front wheel drives as they are, a, they are a little bit of a handful, but they can be raced. Gann holding on to the lead. Austin Cook now getting a sniff his tail, his tailpipes here. Smell the exhaust fumes, the fuel burning. The 11 machine trying to work to the backside of the 51. All over the backside bumper. Eric Sprouse fell off a little bit there. Two laps left to go. Lap 18 of 20. Austin Cook in the blue and orange machine there. The 11 on the tail side of the 51. I stutter like crazy. 
because we have two laps left to go. Sprouse not too far off again. We're going to hold him off for two more times here. Going back around the flag. Going to make it one flag. And one more time as the white flag is waving. Austin Cook going to try to do something to get to the inside again. As Gann just going to run with it. Down into three and four. Austin Cook trying to make it work. Not going to make it work. Coming around for the checkered flag. Eric Gann. Congratulations to Eric Gann. Austin Cook and Eric Sprouse. Now, ladies and gentlemen, to round off the end of the night here in 20 minutes, we have the 358 Modifieds. So stay tuned for that as we get ready for the 358 Modifieds. Actually, you know what? I'm going to just set the lobby up right now for the 358. So get ready for the lobby to come up, all the 358 drivers. Make sure you're watching the lobby as I'm going to put it up for right now. All right, everybody, the lobby will be up for the 358s here in two minutes. So anybody wanting to run the 358 modifieds, it'll be up in two minutes. So watch the hosted lobbies as we get ready to go 358 action here in Knoxville.
All right, everybody, the 358s lobby is up, so bear with us as we switch over to the 358s and we get ready for the 358 modified.
All right, let's check on the weather here for the big blocks real quick while we have a chance. If it's popping up, where are you here? Set. I hope not. Well, I don't know what's going on with my weather. I don't know what I am. So, with that being said, I don't know if I would be able to have the grid, but I can still read you the, the countdown here. So just bear with me. They still have a few minutes here. Um, looks like five and a half minutes left of their practice. And then we will be 358 modified racing here. The Dirt Dog International Recruiting Race here at Knoxville Raceway.
All right, as these guys get ready to finish up their practice, we're going to get ready to go racing. Hopefully, it'll pop up the grid. It doesn't look like it's going to. Well, nonetheless, here for heat number one, we got Robert Charest starting on a pole with Dave Gogol starting in the second spot. Alex Brewer in the one car starting third. Eric Gann in the 51 starting fourth. Ian Knickerbocker starting fifth. And Darren Shanley. Starting sixth with Austin Cook. Starting seventh. Ryan Carlisle starting eighth. Jason Randolph starting ninth with Jared Jones starting tenth. Casey Big Bacon Sawitz starting in the eleventh spot. And Ashley Ellison Jr. starting twelfth. Denise Stroop starting in the thirteenth spot. So that is our field. We're going to have 13 cars for, I believe, eight laps. Don't know why this ain't working. The 64, Robert Charette, Dave Gogol. On the outside, the 72 machine. We're going to take the green flag here at Knoxville Raceway. Here for the Dirt Dog International Recruitment Racing for the 358 Modifieds. Brought to you by Lamb's Custom Decals and Chummy Motorsports. And the Dirt Dog International Racing Network. The 64, Robert Charette, Dave Gogol taking the green flag as the green flag is waving out. Dave Gogol on the outside, the 17 machine. And we are big block modified race in here. Heat number one, I think it's 12 laps. Because they're getting ready to come the first time around. Three wide for the lead, Charette on the outside. Alex Brewer down low. Now battling for the second spot. Dave Gogol, Robert Shred, Alex Brewer moving up into the first spot. So we got one clean lap in. And we are running Alex Brewer, the number one out front with Robert Charette in the second spot. David Gogol pulling up the third. And look who's coming from the back, Mr. Casey. Big bake. It's solid. They were just four wide going into one and two there. The 27 machine in the middle. Three wide going by the flag stand going into one and two now. The 47 on the low side of the 27. Casey, Big Bake, and Sowich moving up into the sixth spot. Gaining five spots so far in this heat. In the fifth spot, Jared Jones also gaining quite the spots here in that 26 machine here. Four spots, now five as he tries the slide job on the 72 machine. As he falls back now, Casey taking over that fifth spot. The 72 into the sixth spot, now was up into the first spot. Was battling up here with Robert Shredd in the beginning. He must have fell off here. Darren Shanley into the third spot, trying to chase down, uh, chase down Robert Charette. Charette still trying to work on the inside of Brewer. Brewer going by the flag here. It looks like we are halfway. We might be a little over halfway now. Charette doing whatever he can to work to the inside of the number or the back side of the number one, the 50 back here. Got the 47 poking to the inside, Jason Randolph. Going to the inside, the 47. Making Shanley move up. 
Randolph taking the low side. Shanley on the outside. The 50 going to work the outside. The 47 going to look to go to the inside, trying to take over that third spot. Battle here for third. Shanley on the outside. Jason Rudolph down. Randolph down low. These 358 modifieds ripping, rocking, ready to rip here at Knoxville. As it looks like Mr. Casey. Big Bang Gasawitz coming up six spots into the fifth spot. Not too far off of Mr. Darren Shanley and Jason Randolph here. Trying to work that low line in that 27 car. Back up front, Robert Schreck right got a 47 machine of Jason Randolph to the inside. 50 machine right on the backside. Darren Shanley. Alex Brewer still going to look to run away with this thing, but the 64 looked like he's got trouble. 47 to the inside. Able to take it for the second position. 64 trying to get the run on the outside. Robert Charette now got the 50 to the inside of Darren Shanley battling it out. Side by side going into one and two. Excuse me, three and four. Going by the flag stand. Now going into one and two. Robert Charette up into the wall. Casey able to go around Charette, I believe. Yep. Charette up in the wall. Very unfortunate there. And that's the end of the race. Woo! Action going on everywhere. And for heat number two, we got Wes Labar starting on the pole with Randy Sterling starting in the second spot. Landon McKenzie starting third with Dalton Hayden starting fourth. Noah Hayslip in the fifth spot. Nicholas alone in the sixth. Rachel Goyet in the seventh spot. Holy cow, we just had a whole change to what was happening. Seventh is going to be Jessica Donovan, Nicholas Shell in eighth. Ninth being Randy Sterling. Tenth being Noah Hayslip. But I think only eight cars showed up. Shell, Nicholas Shell, tail on the end of the field here in the 512 machine. So we have eight cars and I believe 12 laps. Five machine up front with the 989 on the outside looking to take heat number two to the green flag here as the lights come off the pace truck. Labar Hayden waiting for the green flag to drop. Nicholas Lamb changing up the paint scheme. All blue, white with a pink. That number 37 back there. The green flag is out. The five taking off to an early start. Dalton Hayden falling back into the third spot. Landon McKenzie on the inside. The five and the four getting at each other there. Oh, my goodness. Dalton Hayden goes around for the lead, though. Nicholas alone. And Michael Bueno. Bueno. I hope I'm not butchering that. <laughs> in the third spot, Jessica Dunham moving up into the fourth position. Battle back here. Michael pulling up the third spot behind Hayden. Hayden going to the inside of Olong. Gonna race him out to the outside. The 69, the 989. Able to pull the slide job. Hanging on to a Dalton Hayden out front. Battling with second and third right behind him is the 543. 643, excuse me, in the 18. 
Did I get that right? No, the 69. Excuse me, the 69. 643 and the 69 are going to battle them all. They get into each other, the 69. Make some contact with the 989. Dalton. To try to hang out of the low side there. The 69 gonna move up. The 69 getting into the back side of Dalton Hayden there. Now Jessica Donovan moving up into the third spot, able to get around Dalton Hayden in the 989 there, pulling up the fourth spot. Nicholas alone running some pretty close harsh laps there. Him and Dalton back forth. Both were fast, both were trying to hold that bottom line. Michael Buono still holding on to the lead here. Because I believe we only have like five laps left to go. Shell coming from the back. The 512 machine up into the fifth spot now. Gaining seven positions. Jessica Donovan. As well, moving from the back side up in the third spot, gaining quite the positions. Same with the leader, Michael Bueno, the 643. All these racers racing hard here in Knoxville on the 358 Modifieds. Brought to you by Chummies Motorsports and Lamb Custom Decals. Also, the Third Dog International Racing Network. Looks like he's got it in the bag. Nicholas Owen pulled up the second spot. Jessica Donovan pulling up the third. Because we have two laps left to go. Jessica's got Dalton Hayden trying to knock on the back door here. Looks like the 35 machine. More time around the 69 down low. Big old pile up there. That's the end. That's why. All right. Feature grid time. Alex Brewer starting on the pole with Michael Boyano starting second. Jason Randolph starting third with Nicholas Olo starting fourth. Darren Shanley. Starting fifth. And Jessica Donovan starting sixth. Robert Charette starting seventh. Dalton Hayden starting eighth. Casey Big Bacon Sowich starting ninth. Nicholas Shell starting in the tenth spot. Dave Gogol starting eleventh. Landon McKenzie twelfth. Jared Jones, 13th. Nicholas Lamb, 14th. Austin Cook, 15th. Wes Labar starting 16th. Ian Knickerbocker starting 17th. So I believe that's the end of the field there. Ian Knickerbocker pulling up the end of the field. Oh, no. The 51, Eric Gann, starting 14th. Oh, I hate how this thing does this. Nonetheless, we're ready to go. 358 mod racing. As the fireworks are going off here in Knoxville. I said the third dogs want to thank you for sitting with us and watching as we put on this show for you tonight. 
We appreciate all the feedback and all the follows and likes. Stay tuned because we will definitely be bringing you more action here with the Dirt Dog International Racing Network. Tomorrow we'll be broadcasting the Red River Valley I Racing League for the Dirt Street Stocks and the Big Block Modifieds. Stay tuned for that. That'll be happening tomorrow. But right now, we got Mr. Charette. And Michael Buano here, ready to take the green flag. Green flag is out, Charette Buano. Charette down low, the 643 way out wide. Look at Casey Big Bacon Sawich move on up already, jumping up into the fifth position right behind the 69 right there right behind Robert Charette now they're three wide Robert Charette on the outside Casey Bacon down low the 69 now sliding up in front of Charette there Side by side action, the 69 down up high, 27 down low. Side by side, a little bit of contact. Twenty-six coming down, making the contact, dude, kissing the 27 machines front end there. 64 now got the 989 pulling up the backside there. That's Dalton Hayden. Casey. Working that 69 car. Sixty-nine trying to pull the slide job there. Big bacon on the outside. Blinking in and out there. The 69 Domo trying to hold on to this position right there in front of him in the third spot. The 26, Jared Jones in the second position. And Michael Bueno still out front here in the 643. Man, I hope I'm saying dude's name right. And we have our first caution flag out. Can I see what it is? One going up into the wall, Alex Brewer. Going on over. Very unfortunate there. We get ready to line them back up. Under caution here at Knoxville Raceway. The lights are coming off the pace truck. And we are getting ready to go green flag action here. Michael Bueno, Jared Jones. We're in Knoxville Raceway doing a 358 modified style. Brought to you by Chummy Motorsports and Lamb's Custom Decals. Big Bacon there in the third spot right behind the 643. Getting the jump on the 69 on the outside there. Trying to make the move on the inside of the 26 here. Jared Jones battling now. Down low to 27 to 26. Now to make the slide job. Trying to make it work. Bacon going to the inside. Going to get her nice and close. Side-by-side -side action here at Knoxville. We got some lap traffic. That's Alex Brewer. The 
looks like we got another caution out again. Let's see what that one looks like. If we can. Looks like we're landing the Kenzie in the number four machine. Coming down, connected with the five, and getting finished off by the 33 there. Just a fast, fast racing incident going on here when we're racing these 358 mods here in Knoxville. Lining these guys up as the cars come back out before they get the lap down. Not sure if they're going to be putting Mr. Big Bacon into the second or third. He started third that last one, then the cars came out. Looks like they're going to be putting him in second. Jared Jones now in the third spot from the the 26 machine there right behind him gaining quite the spots as well yeah something's going on with my overlay system I don't know I'm trying to do it but it won't do it I don't know why it won't pop nothing up for me. So we're just gonna run with it so we can finish out the show here. And the green flag is out. Michael Guido, Casey, Vegas Sowich, taking the green flag here at Knoxville Raceway. Casey has Jared Jones working to the inside there. He's got Nicholas Olo of the 69 right behind him. Jared and Olong gonna battle it out side by side right behind him for the third spot as the 27 and the 643 are gonna run away from the pack, but no, they poke to the inside of the 27 machine here. As almost looks like caution come out or something. Oh, it looks like they're still racing. We are still green. Michael Bueno. I believe we're under caution again. Let's see if we can find that one. Like Mr. Austin Cook in the 11 car. On the outside of the 33 getting into the wall of the 4 car, cramming him right in the backside. He was like, cram! Nowhere to go. Just a racing incident, bringing out the caution. 27 down low. Or nope, it'll be the 27 out high, the 643 down low. For these 358 mod fives here for the Dirt Dog International Recruitment Racing. Thursday is starting 630. Well, you never know what kind of class we'll throw at you. Yes, you do, because we run the same classes every week. The 643 ready to take the green flag as we're going to start them single files. Green flag out for the 643, the 27, and the 69. Michael Blano pulling out to an early lead. Nicholas Olo trying to go to the inside and 
Casey Big Bank of Sawich already. Ripping the outside, the 69, trying to get to the inside, the 26. Back there to the 69, applying pressure to the 27 here. Battling as they go into one and two. Trying to pull the slide out, the 27 out high, the 69 down low. Casey now has the Jared Jones with the 26 machine out to the outside of him now. Battling for the third spot. Dalton Hayden coming up from the back here now, sitting in the fifth spot in that 989 machine. to go now. There's 40 laps. We have 13, 14 now. So we've got like 26 left to go. Dalton Hayden now working his way up to the back side of Mr. Big Bacon Solids. Right in front of him in that 27 car. Nicholas Olon in the second spot. Jared Jones in the third. Michael Bueno. And the 643 machine out front. Still holding these guys down here in the 358 modifieds. Nicholas Lamb in the 37 moving on up. Looks like he's gained quite the positions as well. I think we are under caution. I believe we're almost halfway done with this race. Third caution out now. Third or fourth. Fourth, I think. Actually, I think it's the fourth. We re line them up, restag them. We're in ready to go green flag here again. And Knoxville Raceway for the 358 modified race. The Dirt Dog International Recruitment Race. Pace trucks off. These mods are underway. Green flag is out. The 643 taking it with early lead. The 69 pulling up the second spot with the third being the 26 of the chair. Jones Nicholas Olon holding on to the outside in that 69 machine. The 26 going to look to poke to the inside if he can get that 26 down there. And it looks like the yellow flag is out again. We'll check to see what was for the yellow flag this time. The 33 machine. Up into the wall, rolled it over. 
Oh no! Looks like the 27 moving back up into the fourth spot now. A nope, third position. Dalton Hayden in the 989 pulling up the fourth spot. And it looks like Robert Charette pulling fifth. Nicholas Lamb in sixth. Alex Brewer in seventh. As we get ready to go green flag racing. No, we're caution pacing. I meant, I meant we were caution pacing. Did I say that? Green flag is out. The 643 hanging on to the front. The 69 in second. The 27 has got the 989 Dalton Hayden. Broken to the inside. The second spot holding off the 27 and the 989. Hanging out of the second spot. 643 down low getting into the the berm there. Just a little bit of that chunk of dirt down there. Oh, do ya? 69 out of the outside the 643. Look at them numbers glistening in the lights. We got Big Bacon back there in the third spot. Going to wait for these guys to make a mistake. So he can capitalize on it. The 643 now into the second spot. Oh, Nicholas Olone, currently your leader here. Casey Big Bacon going to the inside. All over the backside of the 69 to 27. Casey Big Bacon solid. The outside 643. Nicholas Olone, Michael Bueno battling up here for the lead. Top three, the 90, 989. Back there the picture here in that fourth spot right behind Casey. It looks like we have a caution out again. Let's check, see who that was. It looks like it was Mr. Robert Charette. Before in the one car makes a little bit of contact in the 64 car and it goes around Nicholas Lamb able to just barely miss him. And Nicholas Shell able to check up just in time for these guys. As we get ready to restack them and re-rack them. This race brought to you by Lamb's Custom Decal and Chummy Motorsports. Just over halfway. We are just over halfway here for the big block or the 358 modifieds feature here. 40 laps. We are 21 of 40. We have 19 laps left to go. Base lights are off the truck here. The 69 
Nicholas O on Michael Bueno. Casey Big Bacon Salvage looking to take the green flag. One more time around. Green flag is out. The 69 out front with a huge gap on the 643. And the 989 looking to close the gap to the bumper of the 27 here. Make this fifth spot not too far off. Ripping that outside the 37 machine, almost getting loose, giving it up to Nicholas Shell almost. 989 working outside back side of the 27 machine all over the tail side of the 643 casing big bag the solids doing his thing out here in these 358s working for that second position from the third spot here Awesome shot of top three here, battling it out the 643 in between the 27 and the 69. We're rocking and rolling here as we are 25 of 40, 15 laps to go here of Knoxville Raceway here in the 358 Modifieds. Casey in the 69 there, making some contact. Casey straightening back out with somebody else making some contact back here. Hold on, going over. But he is on his way. Colton Hayden going to the inside, almost getting into the inside of Casey McBacon there, and the caution comes out again. 69. We were able to catch that. So we don't have to go back and watch the replay. The 69 went over, laid it on his lid. Fourteen laps left to go, I believe. Twenty-six of forty. Just want to thank all the drivers that came out to race everything. The 360s, the dirt street stocks, the super challenges, and now the 358s. Thank all you guys. If it weren't for you guys, this stuff wouldn't be possible. So for real, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for coming and running. And I hope that you all have had a blast. The 643 leading this train. Michael Buano. Casey. Big Bacon South. Dalton, Hayden, and Nicholas Lamb taking the green flag here at Knoxville Raceway. We have 16 laps, or 14 laps left to go. 13, sorry, 13. Bacon's 
trying to go to the inside of the 643. Dalton Hayden right behind him there. Actually, not right behind him. Up the road behind him there. On the low side, the 989, trying to work his way to the back side of the 27. He's got the one car. Alex Brewer working his way back up here. Ooh, looks like somebody in the 980 or the 643. Let us check that out. Coming up to the 69. Oh my goodness. Big old pile of necklace all on the, on the bottom side. Come right off in the inside of uh, the 643 of Michael Buano. Bu Bu Buano. Man, I really hope I'm saying that right. HRH, 1 and 2, Dalton Hayden, Casey Big Bacon Sowers, Alex Brewer into the top three now. Got Robert Charette pulling up the fourth spot. Nicholas Lamb fought his way up a bunch of different times now. Still continuing to have to work his way up. Sitting back in the ninth spot. Nicholas Shell moving up into the top five right behind Robert Chura. As we get ready to take the green flag here, Dalton Hayden on the backside of Casey Big Bacon Sowich. 358 modifies looking to take the green flag here. Green is out. Charette trying to work to the outside around him, but Charette lost a little bit of speed there. Number one trying to make a move around the 989. Dalton Hayden. Hayden trying to avoid that break in the 27. Casey Sowich. Side by side, the one going to the inside of the 989. Dalton Hayden. Alex McCoy battling side by side here. For the second position, Dalton Hayden, number one, he's got the run on the outside. Number one, going to the outside of Dalton Hayden, goes down low to try to make the slide job stick, and he does. Number one, though, has the run. On to the backside of the 989. Dalton Hayden, Alex Brewer has the run on the outside here. To try to hang out of the second spot from Alex Brewer, Robert Shrett. He's trying to hang out of the fourth spot, trying to take the third spot. Now he's going to try to battle it. 64 car, gripping the outside. Dalton Hayden trying to go to the inside of the number one, Alex Brewer. Alex is going to try to work to the outside here and try to work the 989 down low. Saw a little bit of flash of Casey's car there. Robert 
right all over the back side of the mouth. Casey, way up there, the 27 machine, able to have the nice, hefty run. He's got a, almost a two second gap on the number one car here. Alex Brewer. Charette and Ford Nicholas Lamb now back up into the fifth position there. And that blue and pink 37 machine. Eric Mann in the 51. Back there in the six. Wes Labar in the five car. Austin Cook pulling up eight. Ninth going to be Nicholas Shell. And I believe that was it, ladies and gentlemen. Casey Big Bacon Sowage takes the 358 modifieds win here. And Knoxville Raceway. Alex Brewer in the third position. Dalton Hayden, third. Robert Shrepp, fourth. Nicholas Lamb, finishing fifth. As I said before, congratulations to the top five. And thank you for all the drivers that come out and race anytime that we're doing a race. Um, we do it for you guys. We do it for the fans. We do it for anybody that's watching us. Uh, if you would, always follow us here at the Dirt Dogs. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. Wherever you need to find us or want any information, just hit us up. Uh, yeah, so we appreciate all the love you guys 